So this tutorial is on ladder lacing. These are my current boots that I have ladder laced. <laughs> So ladder lacing is actually super easy and super simple once you get the hang of it, like once you get the rhythm going, it's really easy and it's a massive staple of the punk community. Now, when it comes to ladder lacing, you've got to remember that there's a colour code that comes with it. You want to stay away from red and white. They mean white supremacy and neo-Nazi. Stay away from those colours, because we don't stand that in this house. <laughs> I'm using yellow, it means anti-racism, that's what's on my boots. Um, they're usually traditionally done in black Doc Martens. I know they're not Doc Martens, but I just wanted to jazz them up a bit, have my own little punk flair on them. Um, so you want to do them mainly on black Doc Martens, but again, you could do them on whatever you want. Just make sure you know exactly what your colour means. And again, stay away from white and red. <laughs> But I'll put uh, the most well-known colour code in the description, but bear in mind a lot is regional, so also do your own research. Okay, now that that's all out of the way, I guess, don't worry, again, as per the last tutorial, I'll either ramble through moments or take little breaks so that you can catch up with me. But once I've shown you the first couple of steps, it is really super simple. Okay, so you want to get your lace and your boot. And then in the first holes, you just want to kind of slide both in, drag them up. So like that. Now I've seen multiple different methods, methods that go diagonally, etc. But for like the cleanest method, looking like this, so you actually get the nice ladder, this is the method to go for, in my opinion. So you want to just kind of make sure that these are equal because it will make your life a whole lot easier, right? And then, choose a lace, any lace, and that's where you're going to start. So we're going to start on this one, and you want to skip a hole and go into the second hole. Now on the other side, instead of skipping a hole, you just go straight for that second hole, straight away, straight in there. <laughs> So you're going to end up looking a little like this, okay? Now while I faff, you can do that. <laughs> right, so then what you want to do, so for example, I'm going to do it straight away with that one that's in the second hole. You just want to go over and pop it in that hole that hasn't even got a lace in it. So you get, again, straight across. And then again, that lace that was at the top there, the one that we skipped the hole on, thread it through the other side on the same hole. Boom, you've already got three done. Look at that. So basically that's the pattern. Um, so for example, if I did one on that side, I'd then maybe choose to go skip a hole and go straight in instead of going straight in on that hole, if you get me. I don't know if that made any sense, but like this is this is like what's happening right now, if you get me. Okay? And um take a shot for every time I say if you get me. <laughs> so then you just go straight into that first hole that's free. And then again you just kinda you just kinda cross them over, like straight across, nice and simple. And you want to continue that. So, uh, go up two, and then go up one. It doesn't really matter, as long as you get the same effect, it doesn't matter if, for example, you know, you went two on that one, one on that one, or two on that one, one on that one. As long as you are doing that same pattern, where you're making sure that there's a hole free on each side, like so, one there and one there for the opposite lace, you're good, you're golden. So then you just wanna, boom, boom. And then you can either, I don't know, tie them in a knot behind the tongue of your boot, or what I like to do is I would, I like to put a little knot here. It's just easier for me. And then 
you want to just as you're going up make sure they're tight enough for you like I prefer to do it on my lap but if you've not got shoes that have a zip it is easier to put it on your foot and see because then you can get the right what like tightness you need and then I'm not going to tie these off because um, it's just practice <laughs> you get a nice ladder lace obviously these bits of lace will be in your boot <laughs> they won't just be hanging up here but yeah and that's how you ladder lace it's a really nice simple pattern i guess so yeah i hope you guys have fun with that and stay safe